We have finally made it to Amsterdam. Been in Amsterdam for about half an hour. Already got some rental bikes. Free ferry. Garden, which means garden. So all these streets and canals are named after either flowers or trees. The bridge on my left hand side, this is called the Skinny Bridge. On to the next country. Made it to Prague, very excited to be here. A popular treat in Prague is these, uh, they're called chimneys, but you can get them with ice cream in the middle. So that's what we got, a couple snacks. Just took the tram up to Prague Castle. Just paid to go up the tower. I don't know how long these spiral staircase are gonna last, but it is a very high tower. Hmm? <laughs> that was a long spiral staircase, holy. Let's go see this view. Oh, I'd say that was worth it. We are currently on a train leaving Prague. Um, to our next destination. There's Jenna on the bottom bunk. And there's a top bunk. Storage up there. Ooh, look at that. We made it to crack off the wind. Poland Airbnb, bedroom, bathroom, very bright living room. Ninety meters underground. Headed to the airport and out of Poland. Made it here to Budapest. Very neat view behind us. Basilica. Airbnb in Budapest. Wow. Wow, that's pretty unique. No way. It's tight, but it'll do.
from the bath in Budapest. It's like a big hot tub. On the train now, leaving Budapest. On to the next country. We have now arrived in Vienna. Here's our Airbnb in Vienna. Shower and sink are in here. Nice kitchen, one of our beds, and a double bunk bed. For MSLC, who's just about to arrive, it's 1.30 in the morning, let's go get them. Hey. Woohoo! Hey guys! <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to our new Airbnb. Come on in. Here we have two single beds. Oh, what's this back here? Oh, we've got a little dungeon back here. Right this way. Here we have toilet, toilet sink and Laura. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, and right behind this door, we have a shower separate from the toilet. That's lights. Oh, there we go. Shower, but there's more. A nice stove, sink, another bedroom. Another bed. And finally, the master bedroom. <laughs> Check out our view. Oh. This is my reward. My reward, man. Cut to the castle. Have fun, guys. See you on the other side. Melissa and Sarah on it! What is going on? Oh, come on! This one. Oh! 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 Got a nice sausage and a bun here. Belvedere Palace. All right, so we just made it to Salzburg. Me and Chase are leaving the girls behind to go to Munich to get a rental van and then headed back to Salzburg to pick them up. And then we're having a wild day packed full of adventure. Boys trip. Made it to Munich. A lot of waiting. We got our van. It's a nine seater Toyota. We're looking slick. We're looking slick. Let's, Let's go. go. How was Salzburg? I don't think we'll ever financially recover from this. Never gonna financially recover from this. A girl town. Now we are at the hike around the lake at Gossi. Holy, is that snow? Get to see how high Getting all the shots. All the shots. All the shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's <all funny> joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm up here. Look at my dicks. I can't get down. I can't get down. <laughs> No, I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> yeah, screw that, huh? We have made it to our hotel in Weffern. All right, we just drove up to the bottom of the ice caves, at least where the where you park. Uh, and this is how high we were just down by that river five kilometers ago. Hey, Zach, let's take the long way. Let's take the long way. Okay. <laughs> we're over a thousand meters above sea level and we're going up. <laughs> okay, if you look just right down there, that's the castle and we can also see our hostel from where we are right now. Somehow we're still not at the top. We can now see the cave. It's that big hole right there. I thought it was right here. We have to zigzag all up. Oh, there's another cave! Holy. Most beautiful washrooms. And the ice cave. We made it. Looks like it's zero degrees in the ice cave. I mean, boots. 1400 stairs, one hour, no photo. Giant who controlled coldness and ice. 
the first took place in the year 1920. Really fun hour in the cave. It's pretty shocking to come see this daylight. All right, we've made it to Innsbruck and this is our hotel room. We have two of these. We have a kitchen, patio, single bed, another bed, and a bathroom. Innsbruck Old Town. We are going mountain karting. Oh, there's actually sheep. Everybody ready to go? Let's go. Brum, brum, brum. Hey oh! <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> I think most of us can agree that that was one of the funnest things ever. Happy birthday, Jenna. Happy birthday, Jenna. We have made it to Munich. We got rid of our rental car. Now we're going to Old Town before we can check into our hotel. So we got on the wrong train, went the opposite way of where we wanted to go, and the train took us 15 minutes outside of town to this place. <laughs> we are now leaving Munich. Didn't get any videos of Munich because it was Jenna's birthday, and we went to the Biergarten. Here's some pictures. And now we're headed to Switzerland. We've completed our long train ride to Zurich, Switzerland. And walking to the hotel. Local swim spot. Yummy. Isn't it beautiful? This place is awesome. Two thumbs up. Well, we just rented a boat on the lake here in Zurich. It's an electric boat. Beautiful day on the water. A little platform on the back of the boat. And now we go in. Captain Zach. What do you have to say? Yeah, we've been out here, no food, no water, 10 days, help. Party on. Hey vlog, what's up? Little update, MSLC left in a panic last night because their flight got delayed, but they have to catch their flight out of London home. So we had to get them to Paris and then on a train to London. Uh, but it looks like they're gonna make it, which is great. Now me and Jenna are headed to St. Moritz. We've made it to beautiful St. Moritz, but as you can see, it's not too beautiful today. It's cold and pouring rain. Did some up uphill hiking. This place, this is the Moritz Lake down there. It's 6.18 p.m. A couple hours ago, I realized there is a trail run here in St. Moritz. It's 22 kilometers with 1,200 meters of elevation gain. Uh, so I decided I should try it. Uh, so I went out and bought some Fancy trail running shoes. We're gonna try this. I don't really have the proper gear for this, but uh, we'll just send it, I guess. And Jen is gonna make me a nice pass of dinner so I can carb load tonight. Race day, about an hour from the race. We're heading down now to the starting line. I'll get my my kit. I am nervous. Give me a lot of hill climbing. Eight, 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 eight. Here we go. Seven, four, three, two, one, zero. Now an hour and 12 minutes in, six and a half kilometers. It's about 11 kilometers to the midway point and to the peak of the mountain. I'm starting to really regret not bringing water. Hey cow, <laughs> hey big boy. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna have to go way up and then somehow across some deadly hills. 
holy that looks like a really nice road all the way around a little uphill at the end to get to the peak so close to water and snacks <coughs> I'm two hours in, making an amazing time. Hopefully Jenna will be there early enough at the bottom. And so I wasn't sure if I would be this this quick, but feeling good. Going down hills a lot faster, but it's certainly not easy still. Helicopter. It's been going up up and down the hill the entire race. It almost looks like it's carrying uh, concrete up or something. Can't see. Yeah. My quads are hurt more than they did uphill and people are just ripping by me. I don't get it. <laughs> Back below the tree line, all the trees surrounding me now. This is a beautiful road to come down. Yeah, the uphill isn't done yet. And it feels so much worse after going down. I'm on cloud nine right now, just flying down the hill. Oh, so beautiful. And just as I say that, looks like we have a bit of an uphill. Hey goat, hello. All right, I'm 20K in, three hours and three minutes. So it looks like I might finish in under three hours and 30 minutes, which I can't believe. Yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome to Peter from uh, Canada. What a great job. Welcome to... Your finishing time, three hours, 11 minutes and oh, nine seconds. Three hours, 11 minutes. All right, we are now headed out of St. Moritz. We're headed to Zermatt on the Glacier Express in first class. We have a four course meal on the train. It's an eight hour train, so a really long one, uh, but it's supposed to be one of the most amazing trains in the world. Apparently our ceilings have windows. This will be our carriage right here. 291 bridges, 91 tunnels, 2,033 meters above sea level. We have made it to Zermatt for a long but beautiful train ride. This is a car-free town. There's only some little electric taxi things. Oh, that's it? No way. Matterhorn. Wow. Cool. This is the cute little building we're staying in with a fancy restaurant. Matterhorn is directly behind it. Not a much better morning than this. Blue skies, beautiful mountains. Just rented some kick bikes. Look at these bad boys. Ready, Jenna? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Today we are leaving beautiful Zermatt. We're headed to Interlaken. All right, we've made it to Innsbruck. Oh my God. We've made it to Interlaken. We're at the park now where all of the paragliders land. We have a hostel here and it's pretty simple. Two single beds, little sink, and a table. Straight off the bus to a thing of beauty here. Waterfall, caves are way up there. Beautiful lake this way. We're now in the cave. Oh, it's getting cold. A little train ride to the top of Interlaken.
bit of a nerve-wracking ride up after eight minutes on that thing and the view is incredible wow and there is interlocking huh? yeah, come on in wow <laughs> for today's adventure we are going to the top of europe we are here right now train all the way up here then gondola and then train to 3454 meters above sea level oh and this is what it looks like So far the train's just been through the middle of the mountain. We have five minutes to explore this viewpoint. Here we are. It's not quite what I expected up here. This is pretty cool. Ice palace. <laughs> Nice person playing the piano. We found him! Still capturing the ice from the Ice Age. <laughs> Suddenly we are outside <laughs> in the snow. It may be mid-August, but now it is the middle of winter. These crocs aren't doing very well. Took the elevator up to the famous building you see all the pictures of, and we are up here. Wow. Found a decent swimming spot here in Interlaken. This morning we are leaving Interlaken and training to burn. We have now made it to burn. We took the bus down to where the bears are. But look at all these people floating down the river. This looks amazing. The water is beautiful. All these people are just chilling, floating down. We might have to do this, Jenna. You may wonder why me and Jenna are in a big, long tunnel. But it's because we bought some floaties. We put our bathing suits on and we are going swimming. All right, we got a floaty, we got a dry bag, and we are ready to go. Here we go. Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> this is the chillest thing ever, just floating down the river. Alright, we have taken the bus to a new spot. This one will take us right close to downtown. the life. Oh wow, there's a big building and you get out of the river and into a paradise. We've arrived at our micro loft and burn, the door to walk in and this is the entire place. All right, we have made it to our room in Paris. It's pretty small, simple, bathroom. It's almost like a balcony, but you're still inside. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is this building here. Looks like the entire wall is cracked and this whole side of the building has sort of sunken into the ground. I wouldn't want to live there. The Moulin Rouge train station. After a long bus and subway ride, we have made it to the Palace of Versailles. The palace doesn't open for a bit, so we've got a huge line. We finally found the Eiffel Tower. We've made it to the Arc de Triomphe and the craziest roundabout ever. No rules, just go. We've now made it to the Louvre. We have made it to Notre Dame. Sometimes dreams come true. 
Look at that. Eiffel Tower lit up at night. Put a juice. It's gonna be a lovely evening. Well, that is it from Europe. See you guys next time.